Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. This episode is going to be a short uh, episode. Uh, it's just going to be regarding the shifter. Uh, my motorcycle's got about uh, 26,000 kilometers on it and the rubber piece on the OEM worn out. I have purchased this one here from AliExpress. It's all aluminum and it's also foldable here and it comes with the little extension if you want it longer not in my case because for off-roading i don't want anything longer so it's made okay it's not the worst quality and i paid for it like uh, 42 dollars canadian mind you though the shipping uh, lasted probably about four months i've ordered it in april and it shows up now in july so the shipping is quite ridiculous uh, if you are uh, expecting for the item to arrive quickly that's not the case um, I will show you a couple other things um, uh, how to install the new new shifter on there and how to make the adjustments if you have to for your boots first thing is first uh, what you want to make sure because those screws on the shifter they are quite small so I will use some Loctite uh, to prevent them from backing up so that's uh, that's a step number one and I'm gonna retighten all the bolts and I I will show you on a motorcycle how to make the adjustments if you ever need to because there's uh, probably a way that someone can make a mistake when putting the main uh, shaft where it mounts on the top so I will show you the correct way of uh, putting this on so if you're new to this channel uh, make sure to subscribe and if you like the videos hit that like button and comment down below hit the notification bell this way you stay updated when I release new video and I release the new video pre much uh, every Monday sometimes once a week sometimes I'll do twice a week and all my videos on the channels are related either to motorcycle riding or scuba diving and uh, all the adventures I'm taking any trips I'll do I'll usually shoot a video I'll post the adventure on YouTube at the same time I'll make some tutorials how to videos and nice fun ocean dives so let's get into this video as you see the OEM shifter started to wear out the rubber the protective rubber right here I figure I just gonna go and replace it uh, instead of buying new OEM uh, shifter uh, which is probably way more expensive I am giving a shot to that AliExpress shifter that's gonna be a pretty simple procedure to replace it basically there's a couple probably different ways you can just undo the locking nut right here and the bolt right there and uh, take the shifter out and here out of this shaft so to remove the shifter it's a pretty simple process there is a 10 millimeter board bolt right on top here on the main bracket then we have a six millimeter um, allen key and here are 10 millimeter um, locking nuts uh, to if you ever want to adjust the shifter going up and down so basically you just loosen up those locking nuts and that will adjust it so first we're gonna remove it I'm gonna remove it completely even though I don't have to because I could just remove the main bolt here loosen that up and unscrew the rest out of there but uh, I want to show you so I will take the whole shifter out and we'll put it in just gotta make sure that this measurement is correct according to the the shop manual so I'll start by taking off the top bolt and then I'll remove this one and I'll take the whole thing apart so that bolt is gonna be removed first that way you get a slug to pull the rest out of there and now I should be able to pull that thing out of there that bolt has to come out completely out of there it's not about just loosening it up because it's there's a little groove that's holding the whole bracket in place and there she goes so to separate the main shaft from there just loose like I said uh, loosen up that 10 millimeter locking nut and take it out of there Keep in mind that there, there is on the OEM the little bushing here, like a rubber bushing. And uh, what they're recommending is to 
uh, in the shop manual to grease it up in the center where the main bolt goes through and uh, also, if you are keeping those rubber bushing, uh, they recommending to take them off and put the grease inside there. So that's uh, according to the shop manual. We will move over the OEM washer onto the aftermarket from the AliExpress uh, gear shifter and put it there. But before I do that, I'll put some grease in there. And like I said, I'm gonna have to make sure that I have that uh, that little bolt here with the Loctite on it. So that's the OEM bushing that comes, or the rubber bushing that comes with the OEM stand. And we'll put a, just a little bit of grease in there. Screw that in there. So we will start by putting the top main to line up properly the gear shaft there's a little punch mark right in there and it has to line up with that little groove So once you have those loosened up, the standard length on the shaft is 186 millimeter. That's uh, 18.6 centimeters. But that part you can actually adjust uh, to whatever suits your boot. So what's a nice feature about this uh, new gear shifter is that you can actually uh, adjust how far do you want that shifter to be. I find it that's a pretty cool feature and so I'm not gonna tighten anything solid yet I just gonna hop on the bike and uh, see how is my shift lever and I remembered more or less how it was lined up with uh, the, with my crash bar so for now I just uh, did it as a temporary setup I'll hop on the bike and I'll see how it is Start with the top. That's tight enough. Right. So, like I said, the, the shop manual says 186 
and a half millimeter more or less so my measurement is actually 180 millimeter so I raised it a little bit shorter so this way I have enough room here for my adventure boot um, like I said this is designed so you can adjust it to your own preference so what I'll do I'll tighten, uh, tighten up the locking nuts and we'll call it a day It is not sticking outside of my crush bars, which is a good thing. And it's also foldable, same as the OEM. That's a nice feature. 45 bucks uh, beats an SW Motec one. Thank you for watching. If you liked that video and you found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Like I said, they're uploaded uh, once a week. And see you next time in the next video. Cheers.